That's how I feel when I was listening to this Big Sean new album. Let's get into it. Torture Talk, you know what it is. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Today I want to review the Big Sean album, Detroit 2. But before we get into that, like, share, subscribe to the page. You know, hit the notification bell to be notified. If you want to support the channel, the link to the Cash app and the PayPal is in the description. If not, the best way to support the channel is to like, share, subscribe. Put this video where you think it belongs and Hit the notification bell. Well, let's get into it. All right. So Big Sean dropped the album Detroit Two. Now, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be on I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. I I was never really a Big Sean fan. You know what I'm saying? I was never really a big Big Sean fan. I should say. I was more of a like like I just liked sometimes I liked his flow, but I was really never really a big fan of his. So, but I listened to all his material. And I wasn't really too impressed, but it wasn't to, to the point where it was like, okay, yeah, he's really not good. It was just, I just didn't really wasn't impressed. He was just one of those, those artists to me that was just there. He was just there. Like, you know, you, you, you he's a card filler. You know, you, you put somebody there because there's nobody there. That's how I felt about Big Sean. He didn't come into his own or, you know what I'm saying? To me, that's just to me. So with this album, I was, I was kind of surprised because I, I, I listened to it. All the way through the first time and I was surprised I was surprised I think that not only did Big Sean improve improve on just his his flow I also believe that he improved on the lyrics now with that being said Big Sean to me was always that flow guy to me he wasn't really saying too much but he was always that guy that had that great flow and I think that that's what kind of uh put me in that space where i was like okay yeah this guy's one. but for this album detroit 2 detroit 2 was more on the lines of like okay uh yeah this guy's pretty good like i think he's pretty good and he also stepped up his lyricism so he had a couple of lines on there where they were simple but at the same time it seemed like they he he took a complex approach to get to him so if you think about the line, the simplicity of the line is complex, you know, if you think about it. So he had a couple of those lines in there that make you think. And I'm like, oh, that was pretty clever. Like, oh, that was all right. Like, I like that about Big Sean. I thought that that was uh, pretty good. So that being said, getting into the getting into the lyrics, the lyricism of the album, I think that Big Sean has stepped up lyrically. I think that he has shown me that he's just not a card guy. I guess maybe it took this long to get there, but he got there and pretty good, pretty good. Um I think that he flowed he flowed pretty good on the beat. There was one song, particular song, I'm not gonna give you a name because I want you to go listen to the album. I'm not gonna give you the name. Uh, there's one song on there where he did this run on rap and I thought that that was pretty neat, pretty clever how he did it. And then he and then he, he went into the beat kind of changed and he went into the hook and it, and, it, and it stepped up. I thought that was really good. I like I like different stuff like that. So I thought that, that was pretty neat. As far as the production goes, the production to me could have been a little bit better. I thought the production was the weak side of the album. I didn't think it was the beats were that captivating, I should say. It was okay. It wasn't like, oh, yeah, this this right here or this beat. Like Some of the beats on there I probably would never remember again, but... The way he handled the songs is what made the beats good. And as far as the, the sound quality, sound quality is the high point to me in this album. I think the sound quality sounds really good. Everybody, uh, you know, all the voices sound clear. Everything sounds good. It wasn't something that I should I could say like, oh, yeah, well, that sounds a little bit muffled or that's, you know, what I mean, so the sound quality was great. One of the songs that stood out, which I want to talk about real quick, is uh. The last song on the album, I think it's the last song, but well, it's a cypher song, I should say. And 
they had everybody from Detroit on the cipher. And I thought that that was pretty unique. Now, I know people were saying, like, this is something that's convoluted or it's been done over again. It's very saturated, the ciphers. But for him to do a cipher with Detroit rappers, right, was pretty unique to me. I don't know if that ever did done before. I think it was done before. Yeah, it was done before. But with this one, maybe it's a little bit there. I think Big Sean did have something to do with that one, too. But the cipher was pretty unique because you have three of the best rappers from Detroit on the track. And I would go with, of all time, from Detroit rappers, I'm going to go with, uh, you know, Eminem is number one, of course, then Royce, and I'm going to have to put Big Sean at number three. And I think that a lot of people are going to start recognizing Big Sean as being that guy from Detroit that is in that class with Eminem from Detroit. So, with that being said, solid eight for this album. I gave this album a solid eight. Um, the reason why I gave it a solid eight is because I'm gonna listen to it again, maybe. And what's gonna happen is maybe it's gonna it's gonna go up. I don't see this album going down though. To me, I think that it might grow on with me and it might end up being a strong eight, pushing up to a nine. Who knows? But as of right now, it's a solid eight. Um, Detroit two. I think that I would recommend people go listen to this album. It's an experience. Uh, it's something that I think that Big Sean uh, is gonna is gonna eat off of for a little bit. I think that this album has the potential to be probably his best album that he ever did. So, like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is. Torture Talk. Big Sean.